Hello everybody, I would like to introduce you to my well-loved, owned for years, but rarely ever worn, gigantic oversized straw hat. And my, my glistening skin, it is 90 degrees in my apartment right now, and uh, I'm quite, quite hot, uh, so I thought it would be a good time to pull this out. Why? Why not? It has nothing to do with the quote or anything. Um, I just felt like putting on an oversized straw hat because when else can I wear it except maybe kayaking or uh, laying out in the sun because I'm a redhead, which means I light on fire when the sun touches my skin. And now I'm rambling uh, again. Uh, this is the third time I hit start because I keep rambling. I think I'm having... Um, some sort of heat illness. <laughs> okay, quote. What are you doing? Take a look at what it is that you are doing. What are you getting up to? Creatively, socially, for fulfillment, contentment, for your health and self-care, for your body, mind, and spirit, for your general sense of well-being, for the quality of life, for your future, for joy, for forward progress, for quelling old wounds, for making new connections, whether that be literal, networking, social connections, or making new connections in your mindset and understanding of yourself, of the world. Connecting your emotions and thoughts, connecting your old experiences to your current behaviors, old traumas to those trauma narratives that cause you to behave in a certain way. Trying to reach a goal, trying to better yourself, wanting to feel better more whole, more contented with life and have that be more of your natural modus operandi than constantly feeling you're like you're in emotional upheaval or unbalanced or uh, in chaos, uh, figurative anxiety or worry or drama all over the place in your relationships, in your household is chaotic, you're unstructured, unorganized, can't keep a schedule, all the many things that leave you worn out, run down, and unhappy, have you begun to identify them? What is it that you are getting up to with your time? Where you spend your time and energy is what you prioritize. And in order to have the things in your life, that are going to improve the quality of your life in a tangible, practical, touchable, seeable, realistic, present context and in a physical health and well-being physiologic standpoint and in your mental health and in your relationships and in your recovery from bad habits, bad past, bad self-definitions negative thinking, all of those internal retrospective type things and habitual patterns we get ourselves stuck in and to uh, progress into anything, even just for a hobby, just for the joy of it. First, you have to know what it is then you have to know why you're really doing it. Is it really for the thing? What, what, for what end? Why are you there? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you prioritizing what you're prioritizing? Why are you spending your time and energy on what you're spending your time and energy on? If something is missing from your life or unbalanced or not working in your life, then you need to make it a priority to put some time and energy and attention there. 
because it will not just magically fix itself on its own. You need to focus some time, energy, and attention into those things that you want in your life. But you have to also know why you want them. Why do you want this relationship to work? I had technical issue. <laughs> do you want this relationship to work because you don't like to fail? Do you want this relationship to work because on paper this is your ideal partner? This is your ideal situation? But in reality, you're two different people growing and going in two different directions. And really, it's not a good match or connection. And neither of you are getting your needs met in this relationship. But you're trying to fill some checklist. Do you want this relationship to work because you've invested a lot of time and energy into it? Do you want this relationship to work because you're afraid to hurt the other person's feelings? Do you want this relationship to work because you actually care about the other person and you want to be with them and every relationship is a compromise and effort relationships do not come easy especially with the closest people to you and you're willing and you're both willing to put in the work to make it work you need to know your why are you making a YouTube channel for for hobby for fun for the joy of doing it and potential contribution, like me, if someone stumbles on this and it does something for them, even just makes them happy in a moment, even if they don't take any advice or find any advice here. Um, it just brightens their day to see this for some reason, because they like big straw hats, I don't know. <laughs> then, you know, you're doing it, you know why you're doing it, if you're doing it because you want to be, to be famous, because you, you want fame. Um, you need to ask yourself why. Why do you want fame? Because once you get that, if, if you're also seeking to fill some hole in your soul, uh, that's not going to, all the fame and all the accolades will be fun for a while. But it's just like buying an, a new object or new toy. Um, it'll wear out pretty quick and you'll still have that hole that originally needed to be filled, um, needing filled. Um, so you need to ask yourself why it is you do what you do. What is it that you're after? Really after, beneath the original doing. You need to know what you do. You need to prioritize things that need worked on. Find the time and the energy to, to have those worked on in your life or they're not gonna improve. And then you have to ask yourself, why? What are you really after? And why are you really after it? And in order to do anything, for any reason, you need to act. You can visualize and use the law of attraction and meditate and make pictures of the I can't think what they're called, uh, something boards, visualization boards, or something to that effect. If you watch self-improvement things, you'll, you'll hear about them. Um, I think it's a vision board. But uh, all you want, but you have to do something. You have to begin to make movements in that direction of what you want. Once you understand what you really want, why you're doing it, and what needs prioritized. You need to actually do something. And in order to do it, you have to have some level of self-belief. You won't even try the thing. In fact, there are probably some things that you are avoiding dealing with because you don't believe you can. In order for you to do any action toward any end, you have to have some level of self-belief that you can achieve something out of this, that this will pay dividends for you personally, internally, in your spirit, or that you will reach that goal, that you will improve the situation, that you can be happier, that you can be healthier, that you can have more fun, contentment in life, you can be more mentally even keel and stable, less reactionary. 
uh, you, you can contribute to society, you, you can reach your goals, I think I already said that one, but hey, um, you have to have some level of self-belief or you don't even need to sh show up. And you probably won't show up. Self-confidence. We don't need to have ego. Huge egos cause us huge problems. But you have to have some inherent level of self-confidence and self-belief that you can. You can make an impact. You can make a difference. You can improve. You can grow. You can get better. You can become a better person. You can become better at this, that, or the other thing. You can learn new skills. You can advance. You can be happier. Life can get better. On and on and on and on. And you have to have some level of self-belief. Or you won't start. Or when you start and it gets hard, you'll burn out. Your self-belief will drive your consistency and your discipline when your willpower fails. You need to learn to foster self-belief. If you don't think you can, you're probably right. If you think you can, you're probably right. Here's my quote. <laughs> if you don't think you can, then what are you doing here? In other words, before you venture off too far down that road of progress, self-growth, healing, recovery, improvement, stability, happiness, contentment, joy, hobbies, passions, purpose, contribution, um, improved relationships, uh, improved uh, reactivity, acting rather than reacting, whatever it is that you need to um, organize and be uh, more conscious and careful and tactful and uh, peaceful and serene and, and need in your life to find joy, fulfillment and contentment before you travel too far in that direction toward it. Make sure you've fostered in yourself a belief that you can make progress, that you can push that needle back. Or you'll burn out you'll live up to your own self-fulfilling prophecy. If you don't believe you can, you'll fail yourself. And then you'll tell yourself that failure and failures are learning mistakes. Mistakes happen. You will have bumps in the road. It ain't going to be a rocket, skyrocket to the top. You'll go all over the place before you get there. Um, there will be backslides. There will be mistakes. There will be failures um, on the road to get where you need to go. Uh, that's normal. That's not failing. That's trying. And if you don't want to burn out on the way to um, progress, self-fulfilling prophecy of believing you can't, and then the minute things get difficult um, and things mess up, you'll take that as proof that you're not good enough. It's not worth it. I'm a failure. Um, on and on and I should have never tried I shouldn't bother I'll never be good at this and you just reaffirm that negative self-belief so try to foster self-belief before you tackle life's challenges believe that you can it'll help push you through the murkier bits when things get complicated, difficult, monotonous, tiring, or your willpower begins to fade, or you have a failure, a setback. If you believe you can, you probably can. If you believe you can't, you probably can't. Good morning, goodbye, love you guys. Uh, gotta go get dressed for work hat hair. Top of the day to you.